Hi, I'm Dr. Terry Simpson coming to you from Anchorage, Alaska, home of my ancestors who ate a diet rich with salmon, seal oil, and whale blubber, all of which is a very fatty diet, far fattier than the average American diet, and the incidence of coronary artery disease among them is surprisingly low. In fact, in some of my relatives, they haven't even recorded an incidence of coronary artery disease. They start to once they migrate down to the States and start smoking, but that's another issue. In spite of that, Caldwell Essington, Dean Ornish, and Colin Campbell will maintain that the problem with atherosclerosis is fat in the diet. And they base that on some old notions. They base it on the old notions that if you open up a coronary artery disease, you'll find these fatty plaques. Therefore, they thought it must be the fat in the diet. And yet science, as we have known for almost 30 years now, has shown that it's not the fat in the diet. It's how your body reacts to things, how your body produces certain proteins, low-density lipoproteins, medium and high-density lipoproteins, that matter. And we can modulate them with certain drugs, simvastatin, Crestor, Lipitor. All of those are drugs which modulate the amount of uh, lipoproteins that you make. The bottom line is we know a lot more now than we did 30 years ago, and yet still people hold on to a belief based on less than 20 people that you should eat a vegan-style low-fat diet. My ancestors didn't, and they did just fine. But here's the bottom line. Food can't cure you. In spite of what Caldwell Essington, a former surgeon, said, you can't reverse coronary artery disease by eating a low-fat diet. You just can't. But you can reduce plaque by taking certain medications. So, here's the bottom line. When it comes to population studies, and we'll have a whole topic about Colin Campbell and his myth of the China Project, I'll give you a little preliminary boost here. What Colin Campbell said, his conclusions that he made, are diametrically opposed to the data he collected. And some of the data he collected was kind of bogus. We'll save that for another tape. The bottom line is, we have learned a lot more and have been able to graduate away from those few people who promote those kinds of diets. Again, food will not cure you. It may kill you, but it won't cure you. From the home of some great smoked salmon, I'm Dr. Terry Simpson. Good day.